Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 13th, 2019. Well, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday, we went into the market with kind of this overhanging gloom of uh, uncertainty, I should say, not necessarily gloom, but uncertainty of what would happen, what shoe would fall. Would it be a bearish or bullish shoe? And yesterday we got the news that we have a tentative phase one trade deal with China that apparently, we don't know much yet, but apparently is uh, lifting the tariffs that were scheduled for Saturday. Obviously, the market loved hearing that, and we had a tremendous rally um, yesterday morning. It subsided substantially, and then when the tentative uh, deal actually came out, um, or news of a tentative deal came out, um, we rallied back up and setting new record highs in the Dow, in the SPY, in the Qs, just all kinds of bullishness. And the reaction around the world has been substantial. We're seeing uh, big gains. We saw big gains overnight in um, Asian markets. Big gains are happening right now in European markets as everyone seems to be in a celebratory mo mode since um, this tentative deal. Now we do still have one little hiccup that could occur here. The president is yet to accept the deal. I think it's largely expected the president will accept the deal, but you know, you always want to keep that, um, <laughs> keep that in the back of your mind that there could be a uh, situation where he disagrees with something and it sets this thing rolling again. So if, if he does accept the deal, one of the things that I think has occurred is um, we have opened the door for that possible Santa Claus rally and um, really relieving uh, an awful lot of pressure on this market. This morning, the Dow futures are looking at a gap up open of around 100 points, um, even a little bit more. Uh, it all depends on how, how we trade as we go throughout the morning, but looking pretty good here this morning so far and um, just really reacting to the the bullishness that's been happening uh, around the world in the market so uh, more upside uh, to come here this morning whether we can hold that that'll be a question and we do have some news to consider ahead of that the other thing that seems to have been really really positive um, and almost surprisingly pos positive is that the massive uk election um, over there. And congrats to those um, UK folks that might be listening. If uh, this this vote came down on your side, which man, it's such a sweeping uh, win for Boris Johnson. Uh, that really sets the stage for um, Britain to leave the Eurozone. So pretty interesting situations and, and really big stumbling blocks for the markets to just kind of be cleared up here all at once. What an interesting, um, interesting day we had yesterday. So let's take a look um, at what the other indexes look at like. Um, our trends are holding in place. Uh, clearly bulls are in control. We have these beautiful trends, everything moving to the upside, um, really, really strong and uh, breaking out substantially here in the S&P 500 looking like like uh, in this morning, maybe extending that move um, right on up here this morning, as you can see futures pushing up into here, extending that move. So lots and lots of bullishness heading into this Friday. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues also breaking through to new record highs, trends holding up beautifully. The bulls are certainly in control. And once again, we are gapping higher this morning. So lots and lots of happy, happy campers out there um, in the market. And we had some good news um, last night. Um, AVGO uh, Broadcom um, 
reported earnings last night, and although it's it's moving down a little bit this morning, it had originally been trying to move up um, after that earnings report. So something that that the um, investors saw, they weren't really happy um, on. But this doesn't um, really set up that major gap down or anything like that. So tech doing um, really okay there. Uh, Costco. Cusco also reported, and that's looking at kind of a flat um, open here. Didn't really get it going too much. There at one point last night, it looked like we were heading up toward that 300, but it's kind of settled down here this morning. And then we um, had a bad report from Oracle. Oracle gapping substantially lower this morning. Not too happy uh, from um, Oracle. Um, Adobe, on the other hand, really positive results, gapping higher. So a little bit of a mix, but nothing there that's really going to negatively affect the market terribly and looking pretty pretty darn good. So let's take a look at IWM. IWM also moving higher. Had a little back and forth in it yesterday, but finished the day higher. And I think, um, as I've mentioned many times, several times before, I shouldn't say many, but several times before, I think we actually have a bullish situation going on here in IWM. And I know that seems almost hard to believe because it's been so long since IWM has participated bullishly with the other indexes, but we may get some catch up uh, starting to happen here. So as uh, the bulls continue to push this morning, um, IWM looking strong, and it looks like it may gap up again this morning. So hanging in there, looking pretty good. As I speak, the Dow futures are starting to slip back. We've just slipped just below 100 points. A uh, little bit of fluctuation going on in those futures, but everything, at least at this moment, still holding up very positive. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX did a great job. We've been watching and 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 paying attention to this downtrend and this uh, support resistance level right here in the chart. That, uh, as of uh, now, has proved as resistance. The gap up this morning should likely push that a little bit lower. So, my goodness, um, everything seems to be coming up roses for the market. Fear dropping out of the market and uh, bulls firmly in control. Let's take a look at T2122. This was my first uh, little bit of worry um, yesterday when I took a look at it, but looking at this chart really removed those worries. Even with that big move up yesterday, we still have potential of upside move here, substantial upside move yet to go. So we haven't reached that overbought condition and after a, a, almost a week of just kind of you know dragging along sideways here waiting for some kind of decision to be made we have an open door here for that upside move so kind of keep that in mind we could push on higher here pretty easily and we really have no stumbling blocks to that additional upside this morning. However, the gap up this morning may move us right up into this area, and we'll wanna consider that um, as we move up into the area, but we may have a very good Friday on our hands here. Now, let's take a look at our economic calendar. Our economic calendar could provide um, either some encouragement or maybe even stumbling blocks. Let's take a look here on our economic calendar. We have retail sales this morning here at 8.30 this morning and import export prices. Both of those have the potential to move the market. Obviously, retail sales has the much larger opportunity to really move the market. Now, um, we'll have to watch that number here at 8.30 this morning. That could certainly change things a little bit, damper the mood or actually enhance the mood on those retail sales. But what we've seen so far is retail has been pretty darn strong this season and Maybe that will help uh, bump that up and give us that little boost to this uh, potentially uh, open door to a Santa Claus rally. We also have business inventories at 10 a.m. That's not likely to really move us around, and we do have a Fed speaker here uh, later today. Also unlikely to do much uh, for the market as far as moving us around. 
So we'll have to keep an eye on those items on that economic calendar. But on the earnings calendar, we have 11 companies reporting earnings, but really nothing of consequence. Nothing that's likely going to move the market. Really a, a rather dead day on the economic calendar. So just keep that in mind. Not much going on there on that calendar. It would be unexpected that that would really move us around much. So as we slide into the weekend and head into the holiday week, um, uh, Christmas just around the corner here, um, we've got some really good bullishness here in the uh, in the charts so maybe we can follow through next week with a little bit of a, a santa claus run we might see a little bit of back and forth in here just because of uh, this extreme move up but then um you know possibly we've cleared the decks here for a nice little little santa claus rally let's keep an eye on that pretty closely let's take a look at um Whoops, um, uh, some stocks that could be setting up. And uh, before we do that, if you guys would do me a favor, if you would click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click the, um, that bell icon when it uh, pops up, making sure that you always get notified when I post one of these videos. And um, if you find these videos to be helpful, if you find them to be useful to your trading, where you get some inf good information on how to approach the day, that's the purpose of these um, to remove the hype remove the prediction and just take a look at the technicals of these charts and try to determine what it means for us uh, no prediction required here um, honestly in trading the way I trade in the market so if you find these helpful please make sure and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment if you find this information to be helpful to you now with that, let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind that every time I show a stock in here that might be setting up, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Every single one of you need to do an evaluation of these charts and decide whether or not that fits your trading objective um, before you do anything. Um, so this is really more part of just the education that I do, trying to help folks uh, uh, find some good charts that they can um, evaluate, they can put in watch lists, and uh, determine whether or not these make sense for you. Let's take a look at a couple, and I gotta tell you, there's more stocks today with good potential buys than anyone has the money for. Um, a lot of things moved really strong yesterday, a lot of big moves to the upside, and um, it's just amazing to see how strong some of these stocks uh, responded. Now, one that was a disappointment yesterday, I had um, HTZ um, in the morning note, and I was looking at HTZ popping through, and it did do just that. It popped through yesterday morning. I don't know what happened here for sure, but completely reversed. So that's one of the reasons why we set alerts, we wait for those trades, we watch for that very closely. And it looks like what we were doing was reacting to this price resistance in the chart but HTZ went the wrong direction yesterday so be really careful here this actually uh, after breaking if this breaks through here any rally back could set up a short trade so keep an eye on that um, HTZ not looking good um, but we were sure looking at that one yesterday as a possibility take a look at Amgen Amgen on the other hand did break out um, this is one we've been watching I've talked about it several times I said as it gets closer to a trend here watch for it to potentially move yesterday it got that move trying to pop up and it looks like it's got a little positiveness coming in this morning as well well so keep an eye on Amgen uh, it's not likely that I would be uh, personally interested in trading this I, I I tend to avoid any of the biotechs just because of the wild nature that they that they tend to be in but uh, that being said very very strong um, looking chart here in HTZ I also mentioned UNH I have been for a while and UNH finally found the inspiration yesterday to break through hold on to this trend burst out trying to pop through there don't be surprised if this needs a little bit more rest in here but as you can see 
you were looking to maybe push up here this morning um, in UNH may move a little bit higher. So keep that in mind with all this bullishness in the market looking very, very good. Take a look at Planet Fitness. This was one that I've been watching. I don't know exactly what happened here either. Um, with all the bullishness uh, yesterday, this one turned and went the other direction. So back off of my list. I won't be watching this today. I won't be uh, majorly concerned about this today at all, but one to keep an eye on. How about Procter & Gamble? Now, Procter was kind of interesting yesterday. It tried to poke through this resistance level in the chart, but as you can see if we follow the trend poking through here may have been just a little bit too early any rest consolidation or pullback in here could still set up that opportunity to the upside but let's keep an eye on Procter & Gamble all over the place there was good charts to look at one of those that I've been talking about was um, Coca-Cola Coca-Cola rallying strongly here breaking above its downtrend, holding it as support, and now showing signs of bullishness and trying to push higher. It looks like this morning, Coca-Cola may open just a little tiny bit higher, but everything is looking pretty good here in Coke. We have nice patterns, something to keep an eye on and watch um, if you like those charts. Um, how about a different kind of chart? We have been seeing uh, these cannabis stocks just decline, 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 looking very, very sick. And as you can see, um, CGC has now broken through that downtrend, broken through, and it is working to hold some support here in the chart. Let me blow this up just a little bit and actually turn on some moving averages. And you can see this is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. A uh, rounded bottom breakout pattern is when a stock has been in a terrible downtrend and um, we start to reverse back up. Now, this is kind of early in this RBB pattern. And the reason I say that is we're just now starting to get our shorter term averages to cross back through that um, that 50 day moving average. What we want to do is we want to see those averages rounding back up, holding support right in this area and see that price action that pull move through, held, held the 50. We want to see that following on through to the upside. Now, keep in mind, this could continue to slip and slide a little bit sideways, but we want to watch this pretty closely uh, for that potential trade. And maybe these cannabis stocks can start picking up here just slightly, looking for a little bit more of a bump here in this chart today. How about AMD? Oh my goodness, AMD. What a rocket shot yesterday. AMD breaking this long consolidation in here, powering right on through. And I have this line up here, and it looks like I was actually just marking out this resistance level. But in actuality, let me, um, let me show you what I was really looking at here. This is breaking out of a 2006 high. And if you take a quick look here, you'll notice that we still have some upside potential maybe to seek these all-time highs in AMD. So AMD could push right on through this level and start lifting up toward this area around 46, 47 um, range in the chart. So let's keep an eye on this AMD breaking through this area. Don't be too surprised if it has, after breaking through, has to rest or pull back to find find uh, out whether this is actually going to hold a support before it can move on higher. But AMD might be one to put on your list uh, now breaking through. And as you can see this morning, it's actually pushing on higher here, gapping on higher this morning. So nice looking chart overall. We have charts all over the place that really are showing great signs, whoops, uh, great signs of bullishness. Take a look at um, um, Altria. Now it's pulling back and consolidating and this thing is still holding in this nice little trend. 
this could make a decision here in the next few days whether it's going to move through or not but a beautiful trend if we can hold some support right through here and pop on out that'll be the question now again this isn't ready until we see those buyers step in and push that on up but great stocks in a lot of different places um, and great opportunities could be setting up for a lot of uh, trades here in the market as we as I run through a watch list of charts um, we can see quite a few of these big reversals um, coming into play here's that downtrend that we we've been watching here in Caterpillar being completely reversed and it looks like Caterpillar is going to gap on higher this morning any rest consolidation or pullback sets up an opportunity here in this chart so lots and lots of charts that are showing bullishness as you guys know I've been mentioning this MLNX over and over and over so kept say keep watching this keep watching this this wedge continues to tighten up yesterday we smashed right through that resistance level in the chart popping on up and now any kind of rest consolidation or pullback in here sets up an additional opportunity for entry um, keep an eye on this breaking through a major resistance area like that commonly gets some kind of a rest or pullback but um, that opens that door for that upside rally. So keep an eye on that chart. AXP is the last one I'm going to mention here. You guys know I've been watching AXP. I've been talking about AXP. That finally popped through this little consolidation area really strong yesterday and may finally catch up with um, its competitors, um, MasterCard, Visa, and really get going here. So looking good. So everyone, I hope that gives you a pretty good list of charts. Oh, I should just mention um, financials. Wow, financials had a big day yesterday, really powering higher, and it looks like they want to move even higher this morning. Keep an eye on that financial sector. It's looking very, very strong. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you a wonderful weekend. And if you're struggling as a trader, please don't ever give up on, on yourself. You know, uh, for a long, long time, I struggled as a trader. It took me forever to kind of figure out this business. But believe me, if I can figure this out, I know you can too. I'm just an old carpenter. So hang in there, keep up the hard work. And if there's anything we can do to help, please, don't hesitate to uh, contact us and see if there's something we can do to get you back on the right path of trading. Everyone take care. Have an awesome weekend and we'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning.